Hello, thank you for tuning in. Um, so, another scripture that we're seeing unfold before our very eyes is um, Judges 16, verses 1 through 3. And this is Samson coming in onto the harlot um, at, at the gate. And um, that harlot could be multiple people. And um, I've already done studies on Samson on this channel before. So if anyone is interested, I would refer to those studies. But Samson means like the sun. And the story of Samson is a love story, is the redemption of our souls. If you're familiar with the revelation of uh, Miriam of Magdala, um, then you'll understand the story of Samson. Um, it's that fighting, that burning, that friction, um, the redeeming of our souls. So um, this is revelation and truth for the kingdom of God um, that goes beyond mainstream Christianity. Um, if you understand the truth and purpose of polygamy, you'll understand this revelation. And that is our future in spiritual maturity. So basically, um, what verses 1 through 3 is really about is just by a move of the Almighty God, um, God places hearts and souls uh, connected to each other that may in the secular or right now on the surface be complete enemies um, he's been doing this to me on isolated occasions and we do see this in the scriptures and but when we read verses 1 through 3 we could we'll see how this story ends so um, bear with me one minute So we read how Samson ends up taking the doors of the gate, right, of the city, and the two posts. So the two posts, what, what are posts? Posts are something that um, things are founded on, uh, news is posted on, um, you know, you could compare that to our music industry, or news industry, all that kind of stuff. Um, and he took the bar in even the bar of the gate. So we know the judgment bar, that means even the law and the court. So we know how the story is going to end. Samson's going to carry all that on his shoulder that his enemies will be serving him in the end once the dawn breaks when Christ actually comes. So it's really amazing. Um, you know, this is a move of God. And if you have the revelation of the kingdom of God, of polygamy and... Um, gathering gathering from where we come from you know because guys you know I'll, I'll repeat myself if you don't know the truth about sex and our existence uh, the heathen are greatly deceived uh, greatly deceived so um, it's very sad this is just a type and a shadow so all the heathen who boast in sexual immorality and boast in rape all right, you, you, you have your little time around the track, but when the kingdom of God comes, um, if you continue in that wickedness and do not repent, you won't even be worthy to have a penis. You won't be worthy to be a man. Um, you will not be worthy of sex for eternity, and that sex is more enhanced and is better. But you have to have the love of God in your heart to even understand such things. Um so yeah i don't know we are seeing the scripture come to pass it's pretty it's pretty amazing so i don't know have a good day for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear uh please let them hear god bless you